is teaching students how to use food in their training correctly. Now using reinforcement for training is one of the fastest ways and the most positive ways to teach our dogs behaviors. Back in the day, we used to have a choke collar on the dog and you'd jerk up on their neck and push down on their rear. So this was not a great way to build a relationship with your dog. If you were learning a new skill and somebody showed you how to do that skill by using force and manhandling it, it's not something that you're gonna want to repeat over and over and over again. It's something that you're going to look at as a negative instead of a positive. So what we're gonna do is teach you how to get rid of the food. We can, however, randomly reinforce our dogs to keep the behavior alive for the rest of his life. So how we start it is we're going to have a treat in the hand and I'm going to use sit as an example. I'm gonna bring him up and forward and with the lure and lure him into a sit. So when you bring the head up and back, it kind of forces the rear to go to the ground. I can now start to add in a cue word, which is going to be sit. So I lure him forward, sit, good, and I give him the treat. Okay, and you repeat this numerous times, sit, until your dog is reliably performing with the lure. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to still lure him with the treat, but I'm going to ask him to sit before he gets the treat, instead of luring him forward and saying sit and giving him the treat right away, now it will look like this. Sit, yes. So it's no longer right at his nose. I still have the treats. I'm still moving him forward into the sit, but the treats are no longer right in his face. And I say the word sit. When he does the sit, I reinforce. Okay, so I'll show you one more time. He's coming forward, he's watching the hand. Sit, yes, and then I give him the treat, okay? The next step is going to be where the treats are no longer in this hand. Okay, I shouldn't have to be luring him. I've said sit, he's got lots of successful sits in. And so now I have an empty hand, and if he's just loose, and you can still use your hand a little bit out here if you want, sit. Yes, and I bring the treat over and I reinforce them. Now, the step after this is where I'm going to put my treats off of me onto a table, or in my case, it'll be onto a stool, which I'll go get right now. Okay, so what I've done is I've got a stool and I'm putting the treats onto a surface so that the treats are no longer on me. And this can be a difficult transition for some dogs and some owners. Just put your treats in an area where your dog can't just easily grab them off of it. He knows not to steal the treats, so I can have a lower surface, but you might wanna have yours up top. You can let your dog see the container of treats or the treats that are going onto the counter. But then you're just going to, like right now he's in a sit, so I'm just gonna release him out of that sit and I'm gonna ask him, Sit, yes, and I'm going to give him a treat. Now, if I said sit and he did not sit, then I would tease him a little bit. I would take one of these treats that are on my counter and I would um, tease my dog a bit. And I go, oh, look at what you missed. Oh, you're not gonna get it, uh-uh. Mm, oh, so good, so good. Good, and then I'd put the treat back on the counter and immediately say, sit, good boy, and really praise him and even give him a couple of treats, okay? Now you could do this for your dog's meal as well. So because the meal is very, very powerful, you put your meal out on the counter and you're sure he should be able to do this and you say sit and he doesn't, you could put the meal up on the fridge for 10 minutes and come back and try again. And when he gets the sit, then you give him the meal, okay? So these are some ways that we have to convince the dogs 
that I'm not going to be holding hand, treats in my hand for you and helping you constantly. You have to do this on your own. So this is a way that you can challenge your communication with your dog and the fact that they need to do the behavior before they get the reward once they understand what the behavior is.